Okay, so in Audi's defense, Audi has never actually had as many units on its Q5 versus what BMW and Mercedes had on their X3 and GLC. Right now, Audi is dealing with probably less than a thousand units altogether on its popular Audi Q5, and that really makes me want to ask the question, is getting a decent deal actually possible and not only just a decent deal but finding the one that you're looking for at a decent deal if you want the short answer it's no but if you want the long answer stick around for this video because what i'm about to do is is break down exactly what you can expect if you're planning on purchasing or leasing the brand new audi q5 i'll break down inventory in the united states compare it against its competition Lastly, I'll leave you off with some insurance premiums that I think you should be able to get in your state. What is happening, guys? Ari here from negotiationguides.com. And by clicking here or the link in the description below, you'll be able to access a summary of this negotiation guide on my blog, negotiationguides.com, where you'll also be able to connect with your local area Audi dealers to get the very best price on the Q5. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. You guys, let's get down to business as far as inventory, pathetic. What we're seeing is, is roughly about 903 Q5s. Compare that against 1,423 Acura RDXs, 2,310 BMW X3s, 2,625 Mercedes GLCs, 3,900 Volvo XC60s. If Audi doesn't work out, definitely go on over to the Volvo dealership because that seems like the best viable option right now. Trim by trim, what we're seeing is, is 347 premiums, 432 premium plus, 102 prestige. What I've got picked out for the sake of tonight's negotiation guide is a premium plus S-line all-wheel drive, Quattro rather. This is the one that I would take if I was in the market for an Audi Q5. The one that I've got picked out has an MSRP of 56,905. Targeting MSRP is a fantastic deal. If you can walk into the Audi dealership, get it at MSRP, you did pretty well. Getting a little bit less, <laughs> fantastic, home run. Assuming you got it at MSRP right now, is Audi is not offering any rebates. However, they are offering a promotional APR of 1.49% for 60 months. Assuming you got it at MSRP and financed 56,905, this would land you at a payment of $1,010 a month, and that's assuming you're putting your taxes and fees up front. This next section, the lease section, it's a section where I would highly encourage you, if you don't feel like getting upset at me today, to just skip, just go on over to the insurance section and just call it a day. I'll give you a couple seconds to decide whether or not you want to stick around. So if you're planning on leasing, bad idea. Assuming you got it at MSRP, Audi is not offering any lease cash. They are, however, offering a 56% residual with an absurd money factor of 0.00154. I shouldn't say absurd, just absurd for what it's about to produce on the lease payment. Now, plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming you're giving just your inception fees, do it start, so your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff, do it start. I'm assuming if you could punch me in the face, you're probably going to do it right after I show you this. We'd be talking about 832 bucks a month. That's at MSRP. And again, you guys, that's not including sales tax. Stop trying to punch me. I know it's ridiculous. And if you're curious as to what the premium or the prestige is leasing out for, I did put up some other lease payment estimates on my blog. You can access it by clicking here or the link in the description below. What you can expect for insurance, you guys, since the last time I made this video, rates have risen quite a bit. Parts are backed up. Cars are getting stolen. All sorts of crazy stuff is happening. Rates have gone up on pretty much everything on the market. What we're seeing is roughly a $1,515 premium in Arizona, 2005 in California. 2185 Florida, 1380 Illinois, 1470 Massachusetts, 2955 Michigan, 1870 New York, 1115 North Carolina, 
1710 Pennsylvania, 2110 Texas, 1150 in Virginia, buy the Audi. Trust me, do not lease it. It does not make any sense to. Use negotiationguides.com by clicking here or the link in the description below so that you can navigate the whole process with a little bit more clarity, connect with your local dealers, land the best deal. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.